Welcome to a slightly drizzly South Africa. We are here to try this, the new Audi A7 Sportback. It's a big car for those people that don't want a full-on limousine like the similarly sized A8, but rather something a bit more rakish and swish. This is Audi's rival to the forthcoming new Mercedes-Benz CLS, as well as cars like BMW's 6 Series Grand Coupe and even Porsche's Panamera. This is Audi's second generation of the A7 and it gets some funky sharp lines as well as this sweeping all-in-one rear light which plays some funky animations because why not? For Audi, which has been notoriously conservative in its styling, this is pretty extravagant. The interior is similarly daring for Audi and immensely well put together. Seriously, other car makers, if you're watching, this is how you do interiors with great quality materials and brilliant build quality. In our fully loaded test car, we have all of the technology, which you can opt for, from a fighter jet style head up display to a virtual dashboard, which replaces traditional instruments, and this 10.1 inch touchscreen, and this 8.6 inch touchscreen underneath it. The updated infotainment system from Audi looks impressive, although we've only had a short time to play with it and it's quite easy to get lost in some of the menus. There's more space in here than in the old model and the rear seats have room for even tall adults. Boot space, Audi says, is enough to hold two golf bags laid side on. If you don't play golf, lots of badminton rackets. Now, Audi says that the A7 has been designed to balance comfort and sportiness, so let's see if it's succeeded. Firstly, comfort. There are four suspension setups available on the A7. Our test car here has the most expensive, which is an air suspension setup that you can flick between comfort and dynamic mode. I'm in comfort mode now, and while it's far from uncomfortable, there is a bit more information coming up from the road than you need or want. It's a minor niggle, but when the rest of the car is so well judged, it stands out a bit. And I do worry what it'll be like on nasty British B roads. You might feel that the car should be a bit waftier, but it is very quiet in here and the seats are very comfortable. Fun fact, South Africans call traffic lights robots. Cool. Engine-wise, there are two V6s available from launch, one petrol, one diesel. Both are strong, but very quiet as well. Now, sportiness. The clever suspension setup does help the A7 corner well, especially considering it's such a big car. But the steering lacks a little bit of the directness that you'd want for a really involving drive. You're unlikely to feel the urge to push it particularly hard, and you're not gonna get too many rewards if you do so. It's a car that's much happier to cruise, and it's helped by all manner of self-driving technologies, from clever adaptive cruise control to steering assist that will essentially drive the car for you if you want it to. Don't be fooled by the Sport in the A7 Sportback's name because this is not a particularly sporty car. It's a plush, luxurious machine loaded with the latest technology that's more comfortable cruising than driving with exuberance. If you're looking for something slickly styled and absolutely loaded with gadgets, then get yourself down to your local Audi dealership and ask to look at one of these. Now, for more information on the Audi A7 Sportback, check out our full in-depth written review at autotrader.co.uk. If you've liked this video, give it a little thumbs up and comment below to let us know what you think of the car. Don't forget to subscribe for free to the Autotrader YouTube channel for everything you need to find your next car.